<laughs> gotta love rain dance. <laughs> well, we gotta love it for another 25 minutes or so, probably. Oh, God. 35. <laughs> you know what would be funny? If this map ended in a stalemate. <laughs> I don't even know what we did. No I don't know, probably something. Well, something, we're pro eSport entertainers. We'll figure out something. And as we ah. set them up, yes, this is this map is live. We're on Rain Dance. As uh, we are in the round two of New Bloods, as Drunken Legends are in the midst of taking on Revenant here. Each map counts for a point. Revenant has taken the first two points, but uh, had a hard time doing it in that last round as Drunken Legends pushed them to the limit as... Uh, it came uh, to a five Take to them four. To the limit. Yes, one more time. Take them to the limit. <laughs> oh, were you, were you telling me to sing one more time? Oh, uh, yeah, I totally encourage you to do so. Ah, As uh, here comes Land Goose with a grab. This could be our first grab of the game and it is he is loose with 227 health and quickly taken out it looks like he might have uh he might have gotten veggie there i'm not sure as uh this one is loose and playbox is going to return it and we are still at zero zero but we are very early here on rain nets indeed indeed uh, actually uh, if you notice uh drunken lynch is actually playing down a man they only have seven currently i don't not know what happened to an eighth guy Maybe he fell off the deep end of getting drunk, probably passed out of his keyboard or something. Who knows? Uh, we'll have to ask him about that later. Anyways. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're back. We got eight now. Oh, we do so, have eight? So. Actually, if you look over on uh, Diamond Sword side right now, Cadmus is coming in for the flag stand, but Curtis, oh, he is dead. Never mind. Okay, on the other flag stand. Uh, nobody coming in, so they're just going to go ahead and clear that as uh, both Rain generators cool, are I mean. up. Say what? Who's coming Land in? Goose. Oh, Land Goose is coming in Land from the back. Goose. Thank you, Brain Knot. As he kills mid T from T1 out. And he is 705 HP going 260 on this uh, biz. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> As he's coming home. And Cave Box is probably the closest guy to the Diamonds we're staying. As I do not know if he's going to make it there in time. Slice is there, but Land Goose is going to get the cap. Making it 1 to 0 in favor of Revenants. So. Quick cap or quicker cap than we thought, I suppose. As uh, you guys are talking about a 25 minute long game, Psh, nah. <laughs> well, not if Langus has anything to say about it. They've been uh, doing pretty well at clearing the uh, flag stand from the far up hill, just where Thugonomics has been sitting. Yeah, so a couple of lineup changes for each side as. Uh, yeah, we have uh, Playbox and K-Box now. And uh, for the other side, yeah, Langoose, uh, uh, another addition here. As both teams setting up once again on their runs, here comes uh, K-Box setting up on this side, uh, running a route. And uh, not sure on the other side what they've got going on. We will find out shortly as they are trying to get some clear off the stand and get K-Box loose here. But no, he is uh, quickly taken out by curse so doing work all night in that doom bringer indeed indeed uh, after that first cap i mean it's kind of stuff is slowing down academy has actually got the flag off the stand but was nitron and actually picks it up oh wait no never mind he already picked it up and he hands it off the play box as play box slice and plasmatrix is going to walk it home as plasmatrix is cutting off board so board's going to get taken down by him so it's like a uh, Playbox and Slice might even get home here as Apollokai is trying to catch up to him, and he's gonna, but he is low HP. He's gonna try to get that lucky Nitron. He's gonna go for it, but he suicides on the ground. Welcome to, uh, to Cratering. Sorry, I was looking for the word. <laughs> as, uh... Uh, Curse is actually coming in in uh, Pathfinder. He's gonna get it out. He hits up the stand, and he is high. Oh my god, as he gets sniped out by Veggies, so an F flag is going to drop straight down into the abyss as Thugonomics is over there trying to pick it up as Swamp Steel is over there and K-Box. Thugonomics does pick it up, so uh, Blood Eagle sitting on that stand waiting for the return as K-Box does get the Nitron, but Thugonomics is still giving a fight and he kills K-Box too. He kills both of them 
as uh, Cadmus comes in and he's gonna get the Nitron. Pragmatis goes for the, for the Spin Fuser and he misses. So Blood Eagle might actually have this here as mid from T1. But he gets Nitron! No! no and he gets the return! Apollo Kai gets the return. Okay, I can't breathe. Wow. <laughs> Again, some uh, big work on the stand to prevent a point from being scored. And it's still one to nothing now, very early on, though. Yeah, that was a. I believe uh, Apollo Kai was another substitution there, just doing an excellent, excellent job being uh, saving grace there for his team. Now, he was our last game. Was he? Okay. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> the one that wasn't, uh, I think we have Cry of and Lamb Goose for the two new guys that came in on this map. Oh, yeah, for, but uh, they're, they're so fast, it's hard to keep up with who's who. Here comes Cadmius uh, going to try to make a run here, and he splats on all that stuff that Curse had set up for him there. And this one is going to reset. We're at the 19-minute mark, as looks like Land Goose is setting up on another run in that Pathfinder coming through. The flag uh, looks uh, pretty clear, and Land Goose is free with it. He's got pretty good health and pretty good speed as well as he comes around to what looks like a very inviting uh, stand at the moment. Cadmius is in front of him, probably going to try to uh, make a grab off the stand to uh, prevent him from scoring. But Langoose takes an inside route to get a little closer, and he's going to make it back to the stand before he does. Come across and get the cap to make it 2 to nothing in favor of Revenant. Yeah, of course, of course, uh, Diamond Sword uh, Revenant is getting that clear on Blood Eagle's stand pretty well, and they're just getting out pretty easily, but what, what Blood Eagle needs to do, what uh, the Dragon Legends needs to do, is uh, they clear that stand as that cap is coming in, make sure it gets cleared, and then uh, hopefully when the camera gets there, he'll get out, but uh, they just have not had success doing that. I mean, it's simple, uh, you know, metagame, I suppose, for the offense, like anything. If the stand's not clear, you're not going to get it out. If it's clear... Yeah, you, you can get that, but if the sniper kills you, I mean, it's, that's a whole different story. But regardless of that, uh, they just need to make that one little change on either go to spam or go to a couple raiders, something like that. But I, eh, they'll figure it out. I have faith. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's really coming in, though. Actually, K-Box and Cadmus are running double or uh, shadow routes on the other side, and they get killed. Oh, my goodness. On uh, that Diamond Sword side of things. Uh, I did not even see that. Wish I did. As wait, somebody grabbed the flag. I am sorry. Langoose is They out. did. It's Langoose oh, once geez. again, and are running a very similar route to the, before. Uh, takes a couple of shots from the Sentinel. Is going to knock him down to 142 health. But once he gets back to the stand, it's looking good, and he's going to make it all the way up over and get this one to make it three to nothing. Revenant with a very similar route to before, uh, successful that time and successful the time before. Why not keep doing it? Here's Playbox with the grab, and this one is going to drop. Apple Hockey is going to camp that one out in the field. It's the only flag out that's loose right now, Leach. Indeed, indeed, that was my bad. I didn't even see Land Goose coming in. I was looking over at the Diamond Sword flag as Cadmius and K-Box are running a Shadow Route, which is actually really neat because uh, if most, if anyone doesn't know, a Shadow Route is when two cappers run in the same route and they're fairly uh, decent range within each other. But they both got killed on stand because, like I said, they're not killing the stand, or they're not killing a uh, Revenant stand uh, that Hoff, and then they have, uh, I guess they have a Soldier on flag, I believe. Or maybe even a technician. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure who's playing there. Oh, Paula Kai is playing LD as well. So um, that's her problem. But Landers comes in over the Blood Eagle side of things, and he is out again. Oh, fourth time. He could potentially bring it to to four zero, and he is out 700 HP, going 300 KPM. Could be the fastest I've seen yet on this map. As you can actually see, Cadmius is setting up for a route. So Cadmius is the closest guy to getting that to getting that flag off of uh, Diamond Sword side. You see K-Box, Swamp Steel, Playbox, and Slice coming in. They need to get an E-Grab here. And it's, he does get the E-Grab, but they're going to get the return, and they do get the cap. They're going to get a 4-0 to in favor of Revenant. So they had a little bit better uh, of an E-Grab there. This map is so huge to get across. It, it, it takes forever. But they, they made a good attempt. They just did not get it off the stand, and uh, no dice on that one, winners. Well, and like you said, the offensive clear makes such a huge difference, and uh, Langoose definitely had some help from Thugonomics and Osirix and a couple of guys over there 
to clear things off and uh, distract and pull people away so that Langers can keep running these routes and making these caps. They're one point away from taking this third round. Yes, they are. Uh, maybe even within the next minute or so, Langos just left his route, so he's going to be out in about uh, 40 seconds or so. As Cadmius is coming in for the uh, Diamond Sword flag, he is setting up for a back, back, oh, he is setting up for a static, so they're actually changing. So they're running static routes. As you can see, uh, Cadmius is sitting on that hill, and they're going to wait for uh, the flag stand to be cleared on Diamond Sword side of things, as it is not right now. It is completely owned as nobody... Oh, we see some Murph spam now from... Who is that? Uh, I do not know. Some guy. <laughs> uh, I didn't see... Oh, Playbox is running Murph spam. As actually, like I said, Langos is actually out. I am missing these. I am terrible right now. As he is out at 705 HP again, going about 300. It's almost like a replay on the other side of things. And uh, Academy is actually going to come and try to get to the e grab as Playbox is sitting there. And Cadmus is coming in. Can he get the eager? Can he get the eager? Uh, he does. But the flag is killed on that thing, on that turret there. And then you're capping it a 5 to 0. So, not a 25 minute game. But, um, yeah, this map, if you don't have that clarity, it's really hard to get the flag out. And that, that's the thing that Drunken Legends was, uh, was uh, lacking is that, that coordinated clear for those cappers. So, uh, unfortunately, to them, uh, they did not get a cap. But uh, maybe they can learn something from this and work on it. And hopefully by the next time we uh, cast them, if we cast them on this map again, then, uh, you know, maybe we'll see something different. And, you know, it's always exciting to see uh, teams progressing, and I, I have faith. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, they hung in pretty tough with them for most of the night. That second round was really one of the best rounds we've seen in all of New Bloods. But this third one, yeah, Rain Dance is, is its own uh, map, definitely. And... Uh, Revenant definitely had the edge on that one and uh, good clearing uh, for uh, fast capping sometimes that's that's all you need indeed it is indeed it is